The National Weather Service confirms a tornado touched down in Gerald last night, and a lot of people are dealing with the damage today. Here's a look at some of it. The good news, there's been no reported loss of life. What a night last night. CBS Austin's Jessica Taylor joins us live from Gerald tonight. Jessica, right now the Weather Service believes the tornado first touched down on the south side of Gerald, west of I-35. That's right, but crews are still on the ground to take a look at the damage and figure out where exactly that path went. But you can tell it was definitely in this area. We're on County Road 237 right now, and you can see that some toilets have been knocked over. And this house behind me used to be a two story house, but that's collapsed. Now, this area is under construction, but I spoke with a neighbor nearby. Roots ripped out of the ground and damage all around. Pretty much every tree we have that's over 40 feet tall has been damaged or broken off. This homeowner in Gerald says all was quiet Monday night around 930. Then the power went out and everything changed. And then suddenly um, we heard a freight train. It sounds exactly like they say it does. And within two minutes it was all done and over with. Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel says at least three dozen homes or businesses were damaged in the storm. There were some strong winds last night, but you know what? There were some strong people too. This marks the area's third significant weather event this year. So why is this community hit so hard? Yeah, I'll get that question a lot about Gerald. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's just kind of random luck of Mother Nature. There's Coming from someone who's lived in Gerald 12 years, this homeowner says despite the seemingly bad luck from Mother Nature, it's still a wonderful place to call home. I don't think people need to be afraid of Gerald. A storm can strike just about anywhere. And the fact that you have good neighbors and good infrastructure and support from all the public service personnel, I think it's a good place to settle down. And that home homeowner I spoke with said that in the last tornado, they had a ladder fall down, but nothing as significant as what they saw come Monday. But as you can tell from the area behind me, many people in Gerald have a long road towards recovery. Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News.